implementing your first lead capture page. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to add your lead capture page to your website and also to Facebook. Implementing your LCP or lead capture page. One of the main reasons for using lead pages is how simple it is to make your LCPs live. You can host them on lead pages, which is the default setting. You can add them to your Wix site or, or other website. And you can also add as a tab to your Facebook page. But let's go take a look. Okay, so we're back inside lead pages on our lead capture page. And all we need to do is up in the top where it says update. If you look to the right, you'll see a button with three dots. Just click on it and then select publish options. Now we can obviously use the lead pages to page, but we actually want it on our own assets. So we just need to click on other publishing options and you can see you can publish to a WordPress site. In other words, if you've got hosting and you've built a WordPress site on your own hosting, then you can click on get the plugin. You can also add to Facebook and we'll be doing that second. But first of all, we're going to add it to our website. And to do that, we're just going to download the HTML. Now don't let this worry you. You don't need to know any HTML code. I'll show you how to do this. It's very simple. And it's also worth noting that you can actually use this even if you've built a WordPress site and you've got your own hosting because you can just upload this file if you wish and have it as a separate page. But we're going to download it first by clicking on download HTML. You can see the download come down. I'm going to close this and then I'm going to go and show you that download. And this is what the download file looks like. You can see it's got the name of your page and it's .html. Now, if you're familiar with HTML and you've got some kind of HTML editor, then you can use that. But it's absolutely simple. All you need to do is double click on it and you see it opens a file in your Chrome browser. Then all you need to do is go to the navigation, click on view, go down to developer and then to the right click on view source. Then all you need to do is the bottom HTML code all the way to the top HTML code, highlight it all and copy it. And then we're going to actually go to Wix. Okay, so I've logged into Wix and I'm going to click on manage site for my site. And then I'm going to click on edit site. And now we want to add a page. To do that, I'm just going to double click on home. And then in the pages menu, I'm going to click on add a page and then select page. And then we need to give it a name. I'm just going to call it offers and click done and then we can use the cross to close the pages tab and then you click on the offers tab click on add and then go all the way to the bottom in the left hand menu so your mouse cursor is over more and then move up and click on html code you see it's open this box then click on enter code it's going to open this box click in this blue box underneath and paste in the code we just got from our file and then click update once it's updated, we can close that. And then if you notice all the way around, it's got a blue line and interspersed with circles. You just want to put your cursor over the circle, drag all the way to the right till, it, till you see the purple line and do the same in the other direction. And then for the bottom one, scroll down and just keep going. And then I'm just going to scroll down a bit so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'll continue going down and you just want to keep going till everything's visible including the 100% secure. Now you might not be able to see this, it might be chopped off, but basically you want to drag down till your button is visible and the 100% secure underneath and then just let go. And that's it. We've actually created a landing page. Now, might not look like much now, but if we go and click on publish and then we open a new tab and take a look at our site, there's our lovely site. And then if we click on the offers page in the middle, there it is. You can see we've got our lead capture page. You can check it works by clicking on the button. You can see the pop-up comes up. Works exactly the same as it did when we tested it on the lead pages page. So that's it. That's how simple it is to create this page. And then if you want to send traffic here, you would just send traffic to this URL, charterkitchen.com forward slash offers or whatever you've decided to name your page. So that's the website dealt with and we're back at our lead pages. And I'm going to open up the publish options by clicking on the three dots again and then publish options and then other publishing options. And this time we're going to create a Facebook tab. To do this, you must be logged into Facebook. You can see at the top I'm logged in and then just click on add to Facebook and it's going to open this tab. And then all you need to do is click on Facebook pages and it's going to open up a drop down and you just look for the page that you've created for your brand. If you remember, mine was Charter Kitchen. So I've selected Charter Kitchen. And then I just click on add page tab and there you go. We've got an opt-in page 
right on our Facebook page. If I click on it, you can see it works exactly the same. It works correctly. And this is an awesome, awesome way of using Facebook. Now, if you ever need to find it, all you need to do is come to your brand page and just click on the Lead Pages tab at the bottom of the menu. And it's going to open it up for you. And this is the URL you want to use to promote if you're promoting from outside. And I hope you can see how really easy it is to put these pages wherever you want. But now we're going to go and take a quick look at Aweber and add our first message. Okay, so here we are inside Aweber. And what we want to do is set up our first message that gets sent out after our customer clicks on the link to double opt in. All we need to do is make sure you're on the right list. If you've got more than one, put your mouse over messages and then you want to click on legacy follow up series. Now they do have a new system called campaigns, but it's still in beta. So I'm just going to stick with legacy follow up series. Now you, by all means, you can go and test campaigns if you wish, but the legacy follow up series works really well. So I'm just going to click on it and it's up to you which one you want to use. Plain text is very easy, but I'm actually going to use the drag and drop email builder. So I'm going to click on it. And the first thing we need to do is insert a subject. And I've just made it really simple. Here's your charter kitchen coupon code. And then you just need to click in the text box, highlight it all, and then type your message in. So I'll go through this, but I've got hi, but I want to personalize this. In other words, I want to use their first name. And to do that, I'm just going to put the cursor after hi where I want their first name to go. And then in the top right here, I'm going to click on personalize and select first name. And that will pull the information for their first name that they gave us when they opted in. And then you can see, thank you so much for joining our charter kitchen offer list. Here is your coupon code for a 20% discount on our silicon spatula set. And then you would put the code in here. Then to claim your 50% offer, follow these steps. It's important you give them instructions. The vast majority of people know how to use coupon codes on Amazon, but if they don't, then it's important you tell them how to do it. So step one, click on the link below to go to our product page. So we need our product page URL, and this is the example we're using. And all you need is up to the end of the ASIN. It's pretty much exactly the same as we did when we were searching for products. So I'm going to copy that and close that page. I don't need it anymore. And then where it says here, click here to visit our page. You want to, you want to select all of it. And then in the toolbar up above, you want to click on the links option. And then you want to paste in the URL and it will automatically pull the HTTP or HTTPS. But you always want to drag your cursor across just to check that it hasn't put it in twice. And the link type, you just want to leave it at URL and then click OK. And basically what we've done now is we've hyperlinked that. So when they receive this in their email, they'll be able to click on it and go straight to our page. And then the follow up instructions, click add to cart on that page. At the end of the purchase process, simply put the following code into the promotions box and click apply. And then you put the code in again. And this is the coupon code you'll get from Amazon when you set up your first coupon. And then it's, if you have any problems, please contact us at customers at charterkitchen.com or whatever email it was you set up. And then just put your name, or you can make up a name to be your customer service person, and then Charter Kitchen. And that's all you need to do. It's very, very simple and straightforward. Once you've done it, you can actually click on the preview and test in the top right, and you would just put your email in here and then send test, and it would send this email to you. And then see what the email looks like when you get there. And that's literally how simple it is. I'm going to click on the back button. Once you're happy with everything, then just click on save. Now you can use the bold, underline, any of these options you want. For instance, you might want to bold the link, but more often than not, simple is best. So I'm happy with this page. I'm just going to click on save and exit. Once you've done that, you want to click on send options and then add to follow up series. And this is what we want. Follow up number one is the welcome message your subscribers will get immediately after signing up. And there you go. I didn't notice that before. I've actually got an error in my subject line. I'm just going to click on the edit button. And if you see something like that, you want to go back and edit the email too. Once you've set it up, you can see the interval and this basically tells you when the email gets sent. So in this case, follow up number one is the welcome message your subscribers will get immediately after signing up, which is exactly what we want because this is our emails sending them their coupon code after they've confirmed they want emails from us. So I just click on add to follow up series. You can see success, saving your settings and that's it. There you go. Now at this point, you can add other emails if you wish. We are going to be talking about email series 
in the next module. But for now, that's exactly how you set it up. So now when someone opts into your page, they will receive this email. And that's literally how easy it is to start building your list. So what's next? So you have learned how to implement your lead capture page on both your website and your Facebook brand page. In the next lesson, we are going to recap module four. Once you're ready and you've got your inventory, or at least it's on its way to Amazon, add your lead capture page to your website and Facebook brand page. That's it for this lesson. Take care.